Is this the worst game ever? I'm asking you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have played the Smeagol game and I am still alive to talk about how stupid it is. Going from Zelda into this was like getting thrown out of the window of a five-star hotel and falling directly into a sewer where I now sleep on a pile of rats. Sometimes there are funny bad games like Redfall and Sonic Forces, and then there are sad bad games like Forspoken and Pokemon Scarlet. The Gollum game is a sad bad game. It's a game that makes you increasingly sad the more you play it. <laughs> <laughs> In this game, you play as the weakest, oh, most pathetic shit. character hold on, from. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. This is a real death animation, yeah, man. The more you play it. <laughs> okay. In this game, you play as the weakest, most pathetic character from the entire Lord of the Rings universe, Smeagol. What is that thing? Not a dwarf. Not a goblin. Too ugly for either of them. A withering, shambling corpse of a creature just barely clinging to life. The whole intro of the game is Smeagol trying to catch a little beetle. <laughs> But he cannot catch it, because the character that you are playing as is weaker and more stupid than a beetle. Because he is so dumb and incompetent at catching a beetle like a fucking dumbass, Smeagol actually gets captured by orcs and turned yeah. into a slave. No. So the premise of this game is you play as a starving little gremlin that can't even catch a beetle doing slave labor for orcs in hell where everyone is coughing and dying and nobody likes you because you're a little slimy rat bastard and everyone hits you and calls you names the whole game. Why don't you find some place to go die? Yes, precious. Holy fuck. Why don't you go and find some place and just die? Holy shit, man. <laughs> just at the idea level. This has to be the least fun idea for a game. New objective, go back to your cave. New objective, find something to eat. New objective, take your slave tag. New objective, go to sleep. We. New objective, follow the frail man. New objective, wait in the line of slaves. Yes. I love this part. New objective, step forward. New objective, return to your cell in the barracks and end the day at the window. Compare Gollum game to Balan Wonderworld Land. In that game, the music is very upbeat. The levels incorporate multiple colors even. There are power-ups. They're not good, but they do slightly power you up sometimes. And of course, the dancing sequences. It doesn't make you happy playing Balan Wonderland, but that is the mood they were going for. The Smeagol game is depressing. At every turn, you are surrounded by suffering and pain, and there is no hope of redemption or escape. Dude. You wake up, do your slave chores, go into the sweltering mines, and collect tags from the- Why? Okay, okay, hold on. Whoever wanted to play as Gollum? Like, why would you ever want to play as Gollum? The dead slaves that died of exhaustion and then waddle back to your cell, and then it fades to black and says, The next day in Comic Sans. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Wait, no the way. It, day, it really said it really model back to your cell and then it fades to black and says the next day in comic scenes. Okay. <laughs> the graphics are the graphics. This is what Smeagol is like. I've seen him before. In real life, he doesn't look like this. <laughs> this graphics looks like an orc's dick. Remember Shadow of Mordor? In that game, the orcs are like... <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy fuck, man. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was funny. This game is not funny. <laughs> this game is sad. <laughs> I want to go back to when it, back to when it was. Was that a good like game, Shadow of Mordor? <laughs> Here is the greatest line. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the greatest line of dialogue in the Smeagol game. Okay, here we go. 
That was it. The gameplay of Smeagol is climbing <laughs> shitty stealth sections and a bunch of trailing missions. Gotta have those. There was one stealth part where I got caught by the orcs, which is an immediate game over. But then it kept spawning me into the same spot, so I just kept getting caught in an infinite loop. Who's that? He's one of Father's rats. Kill him. No, I'm Smeagol. <sighs> All right, Who's let's that? go. He's one of what? Kill him. It just spawned me back in there. Come on now. What if I say like? What if I go? <laughs> Holy fuck, man. This, uh, I'm stuck here. I'm gonna hide behind that little thing. This. Eventually, I did break free from the orc loop and decided that I wanted to jump on this guy's head and strangle him. There was one part where I stole a potion from the famous Lord of the Rings character Candleman, and, and then many years passed until Smeagol sold the potion to a random orc for a slice of bread. I'll give you extra bread for that. Where was he hiding the potion for all those years? By far the weirdest, most intriguing part of the game is where you have to make a bird. How does one make a bird? I don't know where they come up with this shit, but there is an orc present who is very invested in what type of bird Smeagol makes. White. Why I ain't white birds. For such a malnourished creature, Smeagol is able to bounce around pretty good. He can wall run, which it doesn't seem like he should be able to do that, but that is like something from fun games, so it's okay. Playing the Gollum game is similar to possessing the One Ring. The more you are exposed to its evil power, the more it corrupts you. This is why it's so funny to me to keep jumping Smeagol off of a cliff. <laughs> Like all high quality games, the Smeagol. We are aware that Redfall. What 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 is Redfall? Is that another game? Was it bad too? Another shitty game? Okay, okay. Smeagol game comes with an apology from the developers. They said, "Dear players, we would like to sincerely apologize for the underwhelming experience many of you have had with the Lord of the Ring <laughs> Gollum upon its release. We acknowledge and deeply regret." Dude, dude, this is ridiculous because almost this is this is like this is like a trend. Whenever a, a company comes out with a game, I feel like that they have this already prepared before the game even comes out. We acknowledge and deeply regret that the game did not meet the expectations we set for ourselves or for our dedicated community. Please accept our sincere apologies for any disappointment this may have caused. Our goal as a studio and as passionate the Lord of the Rings fans has always been to tell a compelling and immersive story, blah, blah, as... Day Dalek? We understand that a game's success relies on the enjoyment and satisfaction. We genuinely value your feedback. Our development team has been working diligently to address the bugs and technical issues many of you have experienced. We're committing. Once again, we deeply apologize. Okay, whatever. Ed, we're sorry for making Smeagol Game. And at the low, low price of $60, you too can own and return this game to the store. Unless you want the precious edition. That's $70. <laughs> Like Zelda. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. What's the token? Get him. Get him, Smeagol. Where is it? Oh. Smeagol learned how to stand up. <laughs> Game over. That was good. That was good. Okay, so I, 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 I didn't even know that game was like super bad like that. $60 quality game. Wait, what? is that wait Dude. what that shit was like in warcraft 3 just like people marching onto my tower what that's so ah! good look at that wow <laughs> that is how much was this game i i, be I believe it was like 60 bucks maybe 60 fucking dollars Holy shit, man. 